Okay, so this video is just a short introduction to something called logarithms. Uh, now before we get into logarithms, it's probably important that we briefly look at uh, exponentials. Uh, what I've drawn here is something written in exponential form. Now when we write in exponential form, it's something a raised to the power of x is equal to b. So an example of a to the power of x equals b would be something like 10 to the power of 2 equals 100. Now what this is, is exponential form. Now we can write this in a different form. We could write it in logarithmic form. Logarithmic form. Okay, so logarithmic form if we were to write a to the power of x equals b in logarithmic form, it would look like log base a, that's a little subscript a underneath the log, b is equal to x. So if we look at our example here, 10 to the power of 2 equals 100, we can write that in logarithmic form as log base 10, 100 equals 2. Log base 10, 100 equals 2. Okay, so exponential form, logarithmic form. That's all logarithms are. They're a different way to write exponential questions. Now, if we were to do uh, an example of what an, a logarithmic question might be, a really, really simple one, uh, logarithmic question, you might get something like log base uh, 2, 16 equals x. Now what this question is really asking you is 2 to the power of something equals 16. What's the something? Uh, 2, 4, 2, 4, 8, 16. It's going to be log base 2 to the 16. Our x value is 4. So x equals 4. Uh, now that's a quick logarithmic question. You would probably just write that as log base 2, 16 equals x, x equals 4. Question done. Um, now again, this could have been written in exponential form if you wanted it to be. Uh, it would be 2 to the power of x equals 16. And you guys have learnt how to solve that in the past. 2 to the power of x equals 2 to the power of 4. Equate your powers. x equals 4. Now that's logarithmic form over here. This is exponential form here. Okay, uh, this is really just an introduction to logarithms. In the next few videos, we'll be looking at what are called log laws logarithmic laws. Uh, because they're just exponentials in a different form, we have a bunch of exponential laws or index laws. Logarithmic laws are just the, the same thing but in a different form. So we're going to learn a bunch of those.